Gwinnett County Public Library would like to highlight the unique legacies of HBCUs, celebrating their past, present, and future contributions to higher education in Georgia. There are over 100 HBCUs located through 19 states, the District of Columbia, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Many were founded during the Reconstruction era after the Civil War in connection with churches or missionaries, including those located in the metro Atlanta area. In this program, we will be focusing mainly on the accredited undergraduate institutions located in Atlanta, which are Clark Atlanta University, Morehouse College, and Spelman College. Clark Atlanta University. Atlanta University, founded in 1865, and Clark College, founded in 1869, charted a bold new future by consolidating in 1988 to form Clark Atlanta University. Fun fact, W.E.B. Du Bois served as a professor at Atlanta University, founding an institute for the sociological study of Black life in America and Phylon, a scholarly journal about race and culture. Morehouse College, founded in 1867, is the only four-year liberal arts institution that is historically Black and all-male. Fun fact, Morehouse was the first Black college to have a building devoted to the study of science, the Science Hall, built in 1921, and had the first Rhodes Scholar from an HBCU, Nima Warfield, in 1994. Spelman College, founded in 1881 in a church basement, it is the oldest historically black college for women in America. Fun fact, Spelman College has the highest graduation rate of any HBCU, with 76% of students completing their degrees, and was ranked the 54th Best National Liberal Arts College in the 2021 edition of Best Colleges. There are also two HBCUs in Atlanta devoted to graduate education. These are Morehouse School of Medicine. Initially a two-year medical education program at Morehouse College, it became an independent institution in 1981. Fun fact, Morehouse School of Medicine was ranked in the top 200 American research universities by the Center for Measuring University Performance, coming in at 169th. Interdenominational Theological Center, a consortium of five historically Black Christian seminaries, ITC was founded in 1958 for education in theology and ministry. The Atlanta University Center, a consortium of Atlanta's HBCUs, began in 1929, allowing students from these five member institutions to share resources, including a library, and take courses at other schools in the consortium. There is one other HBCU in Atlanta that we do not want to leave out. Alma mater, pride of earth, gaze to me, I Morris Brown College. Established in 1881, Morris Brown College sadly lost its accreditation in 2002 and has since struggled financially and suffered damage to its campus. Its president is actively trying to reestablish its accreditation and remains hopeful for its future. Fun fact, Morris Brown was the only Atlanta HBCU to have Black founders, established with the help of the African Methodist Episcopal Church of Georgia. Outside of the Atlanta metro area, you can find Georgia's largest HBCU, Albany State University in Albany, and its oldest public HBCU, Savannah State University in Savannah, as well as Fort Valley State University, located near Macon, and Payne College in Augusta. Students and alumni of HBCUs celebrate the unique family atmosphere felt on their school campuses. The friendships and connections formed during their college years are part of the legacy of HBCUs. Homecomings are an annual celebration in the fall for students past and present to come together to have fun and show their school pride. From tailgating to step shows to coordination balls, homecoming feels like a huge family reunion that you never want to end. Quotes from other alumni and students 
of their favorite things about their schools include, the community and brotherhood have a transcendent quality that many men of African ancestry seek but rarely find in today's society. The sisterhood and network you gain at your time at Spelman College, the family-like community, and the variety of learning enrichment activities and programs offered to the students. I really love the traditions and history of my school, the number of events and functions to attend on campus, and all have said and agreed they will forever cherish the many unforgettable experiences they had in their time at NHBCU. The Atlanta University Center campus has served as a filming location for many productions, including the television series, A Different World, which was set at a fictional HBCU, Hillman College, the film adaptations of Hidden Figures and An Immortal Life of Henrietta Lack, Drumline, and Spike Lee's School Days, inspired by his experiences as a student at Morehouse College. Other entertainers who went to Atlanta's HBCUs are actors Samuel L. Jackson and John David Washington, who both went to Morehouse. Actress Keisha Knight Pulliam, known as Rudy from The Cosby Show, and musician Tia Fuller, a jazz musician whose musical contributions were featured just recently in Disney Pixar's movie Soul. They both went to Spelman College. Reality TV star known for her role on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leakes, is an alumna of Morris Brown. And television writer and producer Kenya Barris, a graduate of Clark Atlanta, is known for his hit TV show, Blackish. Another famous alumna who you may have even seen at Gwinnett County Public Library is Nick Stone, best selling author of the popular young adult novels Dear Martin and Dear Justice, and graduate of Spelman College. Renowned Pulitzer and National Book Award winning author of The Color Purple, among other works, Alice Walker also attended Spelman. Writer and activist Pearl Clegg is a graduate of both Spelman and Clark Atlanta. Her play, A Song for Coretta, is one of the many alumni productions to be performed by students in the Atlanta University Center's active theater groups. Sculptor Nancy Elizabeth Poet, the first African-American graduate of the Rhode Island School of Design, and Henry O. Tanner, the first African-American painter to gain international acclaim, were both art professors at Atlanta University. Artist Hale Woodruff instituted a visual arts exhibit and competition for African-American artists known as the Atlanta University Annual from 1942 to 1970, resulting in an impressive art collection housed at the university's museum. James Weldon Johnson, secretary of the NAACP, accomplished author and writer of the lyrics for the song Lift Every Voice and Sing, graduated from Atlanta University in 1894. HBCUs served an important role in the civil rights movement, getting college students involved through organizations like the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and Spelman College's Social Science Club. In 1960, students from the Atlanta University Center Institutions formed the Atlanta Committee on Appeal for Human Rights and published their declaration in the Atlanta Constitution newspaper, initiating student sit-ins throughout Atlanta to support civil rights. Some activist and community leader alumni are Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A third generation Morehouse student, he was president of the Sociology Club, a member of the debate team, student council, glee club, ministers union, and intramural basketball team during his college years. One of his nicknames on campus was Tweed, due to his reputation as a snappy dresser, often wearing tweed jackets. King was only 15 when he started at Morehouse in 1943. The school had begun admitting younger students since many Morehouse students were serving in World War II at the time. Civil rights activist Hosea Williams, leader of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and the Selma March for Voting Rights, graduated from Morris Brown College and Atlanta University. His organization, Hosea Feed the Hungry and Homeless, has provided countless holiday meals and other services for those in need throughout Atlanta. Ralph David Abernathy, also a leader of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and a graduate of Atlanta University, helped lead the Montgomery bus boycott and helped negotiate a peace settlement between Native American protesters and the FBI at Wounded Knee. Maynard Jackson, the first Black mayor of Atlanta, graduated from Morehouse College. 
Hartsfield-Jackson Airport bears his name due to his role in its expansion. Bakari Sellers, a Morehouse graduate, became the youngest African-American elected official at the age of 22, representing the state of South Carolina. U.S. Representative for Georgia's 4th District since 2007, Hank Johnson graduated from Clark College, now Clark Atlanta University. Former Georgia House of Representatives Minority Leader and Gubernatorial Candidate Stacey Abrams graduated from Spelman College. Abrams founded Fair Fight in 2018 to address voter suppression in Georgia and throughout the United States and is also an accomplished writer. Raphael Warnock, elected in January 2021 as Georgia's first Black United States Senator, graduated from Morehouse College. He also serves as senior pastor at Ebenezer Baptist Church, Martin Luther King's former congregation, and advocate for voting rights and affordable health care. The legacy of activism on HBCU campuses lives on today. HBCU students around the country, including at the Atlanta University Center, had led marches in support of Black Lives Matter's movement. In 2017, 300 Atlanta University Center students also participated in a protest after the closing of the Atlanta homeless shelter, staying outside for 24 hours and raising over $11,000 toward the cause. In January 2021, Apple and Southern Company announced a partnership to build a Propel Center at the Atlanta University Center. This state-of-the-art building will serve as a digital learning hub and business incubator for HBCU students. In the same month, NBC Universal also announced the launch of NBCU Academy, an innovative journalism training and development program on the Clark Atlanta University campus. HBCUs continue to build upon their rich history toward an exciting future of academic excellence, artistic achievement, and community activism. To quote an HBCU alum, from the professors to the students, HBCUs have no shortage of amazing, strong, intelligent, innovative, well-balanced Black people, setting the bar for the rest of the world. 